Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Emily. I hope you're having a great day. Today I'm doing another plan with me for the first week of March and I'm really really excited because I'm using my first ever sticker book kit from the Honey Bee Shop and this is the February 2021 Crafty at Heart kit and I'm so so excited. Also, I love my nails. I did it to like match this kit and they're like alternating hands and I literally just painted them so they're a little bit like messy and I messed up my thumb already but it's fine it looks cute and I'm really excited okay so this is the crafty at heart sticker book and it's really cool she does like these little art cover pages right here and then it jumps into it so it's like a 10 page kit and I really love these um full boxes i'm so so excited to use this art and like her paper i think it's like a vinyl like manufactured paper like it's so nice and it has sparkly star hollow foiling throughout it and it's amazing so here's the first page this one's my favorite talk crafty to me i love that and i love that these girls have pink hair and tattoos because that's basically me and it makes me so happy <laughs> Then we have this page with the blue hair girls, which are stunning. We have the boxes that are foiled and some little washi strips. The date covers, headers, and flags. These really cute um, icon, this icon page. I love it so much. These are so cute. Then we have some little doodle pages, and I love these little emoji girls with purple hair. So pretty. And then the date numbers, and these are like little checklists. And then this is like the Hobonichi Weeks page with a giant planner cart sticker, which I wish I could use in my spread, but um, I'm not really going to use that or like any of this page. And then this page, which I love this deco, and then the girls are so cute. And then this is like a little quote page that, I don't know, I'm not really going to use this in the spread that, like, bleh, I can't do words. Um, this is not really for like the type of planning I do, but I would use them in other places. And then this was also just like a extra little thing that she put in the sticker book this week. So these are the full boxes, the kit that I'm using from the Honey Bee Shop. And I'm also going to be using these for the first time these hollow um whole reinforcers from Planet Hannah and then the kid did come with these two matching washi tapes so it's like let me put these other ones down <laughs> um it's like this pattern like basically all the art in the kit in a washi tape which is really cute so I'm gonna use that and then it also came with this one, which is like the pencils in a 10 millimeter, but I like to use two 15 millimeters. So I also got this other washi tape from the, the why was I going to say the planner shack? From um, the Honey Bee Shop, which was a collab with Cookie Sticker Co. And it's like a tie dye one with like little bows. And I thought this would be really good because like the colors match really well. So I'm going to use this with it as well, and I might use this like throughout the spread if I have like blank spots. And then the kit doesn't really come with like glitter headers or any headers besides like to-do stuff. So I have these from the Honey Bee Shop as well. It's her little bat bow 5mm tapes, and they are perforated, so I'm going to use these as headers. And then last but not least, I'm also pulling in this sparkly hollow... Is this sparkly hollow? Wait. Yeah, I think it is. It's just kind of hard to see in this lighting, but I'm going to be using these as bougie box tapes, and these are from Sticky Essentials. So let's go ahead and get into it. Also, this is my ruler from the Honey Bee Shop, and my little tweezers for picking up stickers are from CVS, actually, and I got them in an eyebrow kit, and I thought they were really cute. So, yeah, let's get into it. I'm so excited to use her kits and, like, feel the quality of this paper. It's going to be so fun. Yes. 
Okay, so first thing I do is I always put down my whole reinforcers. I do that off camera because it's pretty like tedious to like watch that. And then, oh, I'm also showing you my new sticker book that I had in my last haul video that I pre pull stuff for my plan with me's on now. So I just put the bougie box overlay tapes on there and I also pre pulled these perforated headers off of the washi tape rolls as well on my sticker book. And I decided to start from the top and like build the base from the top down this time. And what was interesting is because these headers aren't actually like the correct header size. Um, since I started from the top, this like all the boxes were like probably like a quarter of an inch too short of the bottom of the column but it actually ended up working out because I was able to line up the bottom washi strips I guess in a way that you can't really tell that the columns were too short so yeah I'm really excited for this spread so I don't think that these kits are technically meant for like bougie no white space planning but I kind of put my own spin on it and I make it bougie and I make it into like my own kind of kit and I really really love how it turned out and I like doing these kind of spreads too because technically it's not like um full kits so I get to pull in a bunch of things from my stash my collection my leftovers whatever you want to call it so I think it's really fun also something I really love about these kits is that it comes with two sets of date covers so if you don't use all of your full box you have a whole another set of date covers and extra boxes that you can pull in and use the kit for two separate weeks of planning and that's what I'm gonna do and I'm really excited for that and my little trick to making kits um, like last for two weeks if it's only like a normal amount of full boxes is um, well technically this would only work if uh, you have like die cut sets that go with the art of the kit art if that makes sense so what I do is I like make my own full boxes out of die cuts by like overlapping them together and then cutting them into a square and using those as full boxes and since this um, kit it's actually from my subscription box from the honeybee shop um, so it came with matching washi so I'll have matching die cuts that I can make into full boxes the kit comes with a second set of date covers and of course it has more date numbers as well that you can use and then it also came with the washi so I can basically just make my own kit and do another spread of this again and pull in some more like boxes from my leftovers and collection as well like I did this time because it doesn't really come with enough boxes for how I plan so I just pulled in my own boxes anyways and I really love that little header that I took from the kit that was above the habit tracker. It just says happiness and happiness is one of my favorite words from my mom. That's like her thing is saying happiness from the pursuit of happiness. And, you know, there's really nothing better in the world than being happy. So if you're not happy, then do what makes you happy. So I had to incorporate into this spread because I just love everything happiness. So now I'm just taking my bougie boxes and starting to lay down my base, which is the bougie boxes and the full boxes from the kit. I don't know why I explained it like that because obviously you guys know how to lay down a base. But um, so the reason I use this kit for this week is because I really just wanted to use an anytime kit and something that made me really happy. So I just use this and for no particular reason other than this art makes me really happy and it was basically an anytime kit and I had nothing planned for this week. So I just went ahead and used it. And I feel like March is like kind of a transition month between like winter and spring. So I feel like March is basically too late to even, you know like still use winter kits I don't know that's just my opinion because I mean if I lived in an area where it was still very cold out I feel like it'd be appropriate to you still use winter kits but just the area I live in it's becoming a lot warmer and just doesn't feel like winter anymore so I wanted to use basically an anytime kit because I don't know 
that's just what I like to do. I like to make my um, kits and spreads kind of match like what's going on in my life in the week. So yeah, and the first week of March, I think it's like um, a week or two. I think it's like two weeks before spring actually starts as well. So it is really close to spring anyways. So I actually did have to end up whiting out the lines for my bottom washi because the washi was pretty white and transparent. So I just had to white that out and it looks really nice. And I'm obsessed with the Honey Bee Shops washi. It's so different and unique and beautiful and the colors are everything and the top wash I use that's like the collab with the Honey Bee Shop and Cookie Sticker Co is so pretty like the colors are so vibrant and I just think it's amazing and I love everything tie-dye and like yeah I guess tie-dye is the word but it's like one of my favorite washies right now it's so pretty and I just like these colors in this kit is everything and like I really like using yellow in kits, and I feel like I don't have that many, like, spreads with yellow, so I was really happy to, like, incorporate that, and yeah, and I actually did end up using one of those, like, little sticker, like, deco stickers from the sticker book in my sidebar instead of using a full box, because I wanted to save some full boxes for whenever I use this kit for a second time, just because... I like doing that if I have extra boxes so yeah I just like layered it under some of the um washi strips that came under the, the kit and then I'm putting this five millimeter pencil washi at the bottom as well and I also decided to use like the little deco page to put some obviously deco stickers at the top of my spread and the little march script that I put up there is from the Fruity Sticker Co. I use those every month and I really love laying th layering those over a page flag in the top corner and I really love it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start talking about my day by day because I'm basically done the base now. Um, so first thing on Monday I put down a page flag and layered a Hello March script on top of it and the script is actually in gold foil, and it's also from Rose Color Days, but I only had these, like, Hello Month scripts in gold, so I just decided to pull it in because I don't really mind mixing foils, and there's a lot of yellow in the kit, so it kind of looks like yellow foil, so I don't know. I'm fine with that, I guess, and then I used another one of the washi strips and a little beauty queen girl to mark that I had a nightmare and then I used this really really cute skeleton coffee cup from the honey bee shop that says death before decaf because I love that sticker so much and obviously it's because I had coffee and then I marked that I had a salad with a doodle from the fruity sticker co then I pulled in a what's it called uh a script <laughs> my gosh words I put in a script that I had from a printable kit that says print and cut and a little printer icon from the kit and then with one of the half boxes and a credit card icon I marked that I had to buy a printable kit and some printer ink which is kind of funny that it was both like printing related things and then Lastly, I marked that I uploaded my plan with me and I used my new YouTube doodle stickers from the Honey Bee Shop for that. And usually I like to keep like the plans for the day like in chronological order, I guess that's the word. Like basically trying to say that I like to keep it in the order of like when the events happen. And I think it's funny because people don't really know, I guess that I work overnight so on Monday and Tuesday I work third shift overnight so basically when I get home on Monday I'm already like I go to sleep so I can wake up during like nighttime and then go to work the next night so that's why I say that I had a nightmare before I had coffee because I sleep first I sleep during the daytime and then I wake up at night and have coffee 
and then I eat a salad at work when I'm on my lunch break and I just think it's kind of funny so technically eating a salad would should have been the last plan that I marked but I don't know I just like the placement of the boxes the way I did it here so yeah just some interesting news is that news I don't know so then moving on to Tuesday um I use like a really bog a really bog I use a really big box to mark that I had really sore feet from working the night before and I use like a little pink haired airplane girl from joy of planning for that and then I marked that I had spaghetti with a mixy cat doodle and then with this like little bored girl doodle from paper and thread I really love those they're like her new girl or character stickers and I think it's her first like actual like human character because she usually does animals but it's like a girl with a pink cat hoodie and I love that so much but anyways yeah I marked that I listened to the h3 podcast and then I also put in like this giant like flat lay sticker I guess it's called from whimsical cat studio to mark that I had cuddle time with my cats and that's literally one of my favorite stickers and I wish I had more of them I only bought one sheet so I'm kind of scared of using them all up because I think I only have like five more of those stickers and it only came with eight I think but yeah then the last thing I marked was that um someone at work said a rude comment to me and it like really got to me that night and I just used like a little crying emoji for that and then above it, I use like this script that I just got from the honeybee shop that says, I want to be where the people aren't. And that was really my mood that night. Okay, and starting on Wednesday, first thing I marked was that I listened to the H3 podcast again. And I marked it the same way as I did on Tuesday. And look how cute that little Happy Meal sticker is from the honeybee shop. That came in the kit and I had to use that. And I just marked that I got some mail from Fashion Nova and Paper and Thread. And then I used my favorite doodle icon from the kit, which is the little booty with a heart. I guess it could be a heart tattoo. And you guys can infer what that means. But I just used that and a script that says with my person. And then lastly, I marked that we got Hardy's breakfast with like a, a little food doodle icon kit. Uh, doodle from the kit that's what I'm trying to say okay and then second half I marked that Nick made me breakfast nachos which is something that his friend showed him and I used a little voice not a little boy I used a man sticker <laughs> from Whimsical Cat Studio and then Using a girl sticker from the Honeybee Shop, I marked that I pulled stickers, and I really, really love that icon. It's like a girl with space ones, and I really want to try space ones. I've actually never tried it, so um, I need to do that soon. And then with a Joy of Planning girl, I marked that I washed my hair and shaved, and then a little pillow doodle to mark that I basically slept all day. I mean... My plans kind of look like I did a lot, but I probably did everything that I did within the span of like two to three hours and then I slept the rest of the day because I was just so worn out from work the night before and that happens to me a lot on Wednesdays, which sucks. Um, also, I wanted to mention that I'm going in with like two different pens when I'm writing in my plans because on the stickers that are like just matte paper, I use like this uni ball pen and then on the stickers that are like the vinyl premium mat from the Honey Bee Shop, and I also pulled in some from my leftovers from other shops, I'm using this pen right here. It's the Sakura Microperm pen, and it's basically like a Sharpie, but with a finer tip, and it works really good for like writing on those different types of paper, and I just wanted to include that in case anyone else struggles with like smearing on those type of papers that is what I use okay then starting with the first thing on Thursday I marked that I filmed and I used a little movie clapper 
icon from the kit and a film script that I made myself and then with a giant burrito sticker from PG Plans I marked that we got Chipotle me and my boyfriend and I also used a with Nick script that my friend Shay made me from Shaby Plans on Instagram and then I marked that I watched Prison Break with the cutest like TV icon from the kit and it kind of looks like a bee like the antennas look like um bee wings I don't know how to explain it but you'll see what I mean whenever you see the doodle um then I marked that I read my book and I used a little reading character from Mixie Cat and a read script from the honeybee shop that I actually got from a previous babe box and I was actually reading an investing book and I'm like so bad at reading so I'm kind of proud of myself that I read two times this week like two days out of the week because I'm so bad at reading but I'm really trying to get through that book because I'm really interested in learning more about investing and all that and I love finance stuff so yeah then the next thing I marked was that I took some planner pictures for Instagram and I used a Instagram icon from the kit for that and then lastly I marked that we took out our recycles because we don't have recycling that comes to our house so we have to take it to our community center and I used a doodle from the Fruity Sticker Co for that then on Friday I just marked that I read again the same way as Thursday but I actually used a page flag with it as well from my leftovers and then in a giant I don't know why I keep calling the half boxes giant boxes or big boxes, but yeah, I used a half box from the kit with a like workout icon to mark that I went on a walk and I listened to the Sweet Boys podcast, which is like walking is basically my form of workout because I don't have a gym membership right now and like my house is just too small to work out in right now. So I've just been going on walks and it's pretty good for me to get exercise because I'm not very fit and walking is easy and yeah. Then I marked that I went on a grocery run and I used this doodle from the kit and it actually has like a little dollar sign and a blank spot I guess to write like how much you spent but I didn't really do that and I used a grocery run script from my leftovers then I marked with like a little devil emoji girl that there were some really mean people at Popeyes that day. And so obviously we got Popeyes, but I wanted to mark that they were being really mean, basically. Um, and then I marked that I uploaded a haul with a YouTube doodle from the Honeybee Shop. And lastly, I marked that we watched Prison Break and Everybody Hates Chris. And the reason I just wanted to tell this little mini story about Popeyes So, like, the Popeyes in my area, they, like, never listen to what we order whenever we order it. So, like, basically, we'll order, then we pull up to the window, and they'll ask us what we got, and they don't have the order right at all. So, we basically reorder it, and they always, like, cut us off from talking. We'll be like, yeah, we want a number, we'll, like, be about to say the number and be like, oh, you want that? We're like, no, can you let us finish what we're saying? And so... We actually ordered, like, something really different this time. We ordered, like, a little family box deal thing so we could get, like, a bunch of chicken, basically. And they got our order completely wrong because they weren't listening to what we were saying the second time, actually. So, and their, like, inside isn't even open, so we couldn't, like, go in and fix it. So we had to go back around in the drive through lane again and tell them that they got our order wrong. And they were just being really rude about it. Like, okay, well, that's not what you ordered. That's not what you ordered. Just, like, back-talking us the whole time. And we were telling them how we ordered it the first time. And then we got to the window, and they didn't listen to us. And we weren't, like, being mean about it. We were just like, we did order it. We actually ordered it twice, and then you got it wrong still. And, yeah, it was just, they were being really mean, basically. Just saying, like, we don't know how to order and well, they should have, that we should have ordered it right and all this stuff, but, like, we ordered it twice right. They just weren't listening, and, yeah, so I just don't really want to go back to that Popeyes because they're just, like, rude a lot, and they never get our orders right, so, yeah. 
And usually I would just like kind of feel bad about saying this stuff about a company or whatever, but I know how it is working in like fast food. Like it's not very hard to like get the orders right, especially if they tell you twice because you have to make sure that you're listening all the time. I literally, I have worked at Burger King. That was my first job I ever had. I worked there for almost three years. I was even a manager there and I know like how to treat a customer and it's just you don't back talk the customer and you don't question if they know how to order something you need to like be calm and give good customer service and stuff and it was just like really bad experience honestly but I just want to say like I know how it is and like I was trying to keep that in mind like oh if it's really busy like things might get lost or whatever but like If a customer has to order three times, then you know, like, something's wrong. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, guys. Sorry to go, like, on that little mini rant. But, like, customer service is, like, my pet peeve. Whenever places don't have good customer service, it turns me off so much to wanting to support that place again. Because customer service should be your first priority. Like, the customers are the one making you money. And the ones that you're basically doing everything for like if you didn't have customers why would you be doing your job you know what I'm saying um yeah so I guess I just kind of skipped over Saturday but basically I marked that I washed my hair and my manager at work like thanked me in person for um something I did at work and then I had a salad I had a nightmare again um I replied to YouTube comments and I watched prison break Then on Sunday, I had cuddle time with my cat Zippy, I edited my video, I watched Prison Break, and I had nightmares, and I actually really like how I marked, like, Prison Break that day, because I didn't have a lot of plans to mark, so I, like, took a quarter box and then kind of just put the TV sticker in the middle and kind of made it, like, into, like, a half box, and then I used one of the pencil deco pieces as a divider on that day just to take up some space and I think that looked really cute and yeah that's basically my whole spread for this week I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I hope you love this kit as much as I do the artwork is stunning I love the the girls the fashion girls I guess in this kit I love their hair colors and the spread just made me really happy so Yeah, here is my wiggle and my leftovers and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!